Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Eric and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and let's get into today's video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about three mods that you should do on your 350Z. So, first thing that you should do as soon as you get your 350Z is, if you wanna go for performance, go and get a intake. My intake, what kind of intake, man? Show the people, show the people the kind of intake you got, son. All right, so one most popular intake brand that every 350Z owner gets is the InGen intakes. These intakes are literally affordable, but they're also one of the well-known intakes for all 350Z. Any HR or any DE, mostly they, they, they mostly all have them. All right, guys, so the second mod that you should all do, in my opinion, it looks like really good and it really makes your car stand out a lot is come on all right guys so i say you guys should all get this fitment right here you guys should all get for your second mod is low either lowering springs or coilovers or i mean if you have the money get bags it's up to you it's your preference but like me i'm about to go on coils my friend over here jason He's on lowering springs. No, I'm not. What the fuck? No, I said it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm about to be on coils. No, no. All right, I'm about to be on lowering springs in a couple of days. My friend over here is on coilovers. What brand do you know? Team Tain. How do you pronounce it? Tain? Tain. Tain Flexi. Hey, what's up? All right, bro. So what kind of coilovers do you have? Alright, so my coilovers are Tain, Tain, however you say it, Flexi coilovers. Um, the reason I bought these is because in my, on my other car, my RSX, I had Tain, Tain, or however you say it, lowering springs, and I mean, they always treat me right. So I was like, for, for this car, I mean, I was gonna get BC coilovers, but if, for you guys that are in the, like, in the market for um, coilovers, you guys know those are the most expensive coilovers you could get, probably. They're like a thousand something, these were like 800, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just get the Tain, Tain ones, because I mean, I had the people good experiences with them, so. That's why I got them. And obviously, like before you guys say that, like, oh that shit ain't even low enough. It's not that low because I daily drive this car and I'm not trying to fuck up my car. My lips are already almost kind of fucked up as it is. And well, the rear is not that that low because I mean it's low, but it's not too low because I don't want to fuck up my tummy either. <laughs> so next mod. Alright guys, so the next mod, the third mod that you guys should get is right away a full catback exhaust. <laughs> so I don't have an exhaust, I just have a straight pipe, but that's my also, friend over that's here. That's also a good one you guys to do though. If you guys don't like have the money, if you guys are like, you know, if you guys are how I was, how he was, you know, when you first bought your car, you just like gave all the money for your down payment, you know, you don't have enough like a lot of money to mod it. You're like fuck it, we'll get them up in the lease. That's what I did at first. But then I was like, you know what, it ain't cutting it. So I was like, time for an exhaust. That was actually my first actual mod I did because I offered it the time so as he was saying this is a good third mod because i mean he doesn't want to be loud you know what are your experiences like give me a, just a quick like 30 second review on the tomi exhaust all right so for the tomi so i've had nothing but smiles with this exhaust i have i have had zero problems it doesn't even hang low it, it doesn't scrape that much I, I don't know i have no complaints about it it's not that loud it's and then when it is loud it's like i enjoy it a lot um, the test that I have, I have um, resonated test pipes, they're more than R pipes, so that's why it's down all, mostly all the rasps. But obviously, I mean, it's a, it's a V6, it's gonna be some rasp, you know? Um, but this exhaust hides it a lot. No offense to the people that have, like, you know, HC power, um, ISR, but those single exit exhausts do have a lot of rasp. I mean, but like I said, no offense to you guys, if you guys, if you guys like how that sounds, then shit, but be my guest, get that exhaust. But this exhaust is rid of most of the rasp, unless you have unresonated test pipes like my friend Chris it's not that raspy but it's stupid loud so how are you guys that try to get this exhaust set up I mean I've had nothing but nothing but smiles with it now I know this is the three top mods that you should do with your 350z but I mean this is just our opinion guys you guys don't have to follow what we're doing you could literally like go for looks you could go for wheels exhaust or like exactly. anything it, it you know it all depends on what you guys are trying to do for your car so for example my goal with this car was to look good and be respectable respectfully fast so i'm not trying to be the fastest i'm not trying to be the cleanest. i'm trying to be a mixture of both so that's why i got my first three mods were actually a tome 
intake and I, I lowered it. Those are my three mods because like I said, I'm trying to mix both. I'm not just trying to be fast, I'm not just trying to be clean. But if, you try, if you're just trying to be clean, I mean, the first three mods could be as simple as coilovers, rims, I don't know what else. Some modified headlights, I don't know, whatever you guys like. But if you guys are trying to be fast, the first three mods should be, I don't know, intake, test pipe, exhaust. It all depends pretty much on what your goal is with the car. So don't go by what he said was like his first three mods, but go with what you think is best. It's all a personal preference, it's all... Yeah, that's it. Sorry, that's it. You guys better give the video a thumbs up because I'm freezing. <laughs> guys, I know it doesn't look cold or windy out here, but it's freaking like... It's I wanna... like 45 degrees out here. Yeah, it's like 45 degrees out here. I mean, my top, my first three mods for my 350 z my first three mods for my 350z were literally intake uh i have the de so it was the plenum spacer and i also got test pipes so those were my first three mods and then obviously i got a muffler delete right after it and then after i got resonator delete and then right there i just stopped but it's literally what you guys want and i can't really talk i'm like freezing up my body's like freezing up we out here at a gas station. Sorry, I'm like, like you know, fucking fire ass donut. Get the green roof for the IG people. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Behind the scenes of my Instagram story, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram if you guys are watching this. And his link will be in the description down below for his YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys made it to the end of this video, give this video a fat thumbs up. If you guys haven't already, because I'm pretty sure most of you guys have, because I know. Yeah. Shows up. So that's it for this video, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.